Welcome to Chipola College's Dual Enrollment and Early Admissions Orientation. I would like to briefly go over with you the eligibility requirements for the Dual Enrollment Program. In order for students to be enrolled in the Dual Enrollment Program at Chipola College, the student must take all subsections of the ACT, PERT, or SAT. A minimum reading score, as outlined below, is required to be a part of the program. Students must initially be enrolled in a public high school, a private school, a virtual high school, or a home education program within our five county district. Students must have earned an unweighted cumulative GPA of a 3.0 for our academic programs and a 2.0 for our workforce development programs. Students are only allowed to take 11 semester hours each semester, may only participate for three years. In order to remain eligible, students must earn a 2.0 for the term GPA and a 2.0 for cumulative GPA. Students may not withdraw from classes without the approval of the high school guidance counselor. Students must abide by the Chipola College calendar and dates. Dual enrollment students and early admit students may not repeat grades of a W, which is a withdrawal, D, or F, until after high school graduation. Please remember that all grades become a part of the student's permanent college transcript. Courses in which a C has been earned may not be retaken. The following are the admission requirements for early admit students. In order for students to be eligible for the early admissions program, they must have completed the 11th grade, received written approval from the high school principal and the school board. Early admit students must receive and earn passing scores on all subsections of the ACT, PERT, or the SAT. Early admit students must have an unweighted high school GPA of a 3.0 for academic programs and a 2.0 for our workforce development programs. Early admit students must be enrolled and maintain full-time status with 12 hours. Early admit students cannot be concurrently enrolled in a high school, virtual school, or another college. The maximum number of hours an early admit student may take is 18 hours. Students may only participate for one year in the early admissions program, which is usually their 12th grade year. When students applied to the college, Students and parents were required to sign our Principles of Participation. This is a very important document. It answers many questions that may arise. Students and parents are encouraged to review these Principles of Participation and understand that they were, that they were signed at the beginning when enrolled in the college. Please note that the depth, breadth, rigor, and pace of all college courses will be at the college level. Early admit and dual enrollment students must abide by the same standards, policies, and responsibilities as other college students. Please know that the content of all curriculum and the selection of appropriate instructional materials are the prerogative of the instructor, and these will not differ for dual enrollment or early admit students. Please remember that as a high school student, you will be interacting with students of a variety of age and backgrounds. All students must agree to abide by the Chipola policies and procedures that are located in the college catalog, the student handbook. This includes attendance policies and discipline policies. Also, please know that high school activities are not excused for students enrolled in classes at Chipola. The only excused absences are those sanctioned by Chipola College. Again, all college credits earned in the dual enrollment and early admit program 
will be entered on your Chipola College transcript as well as your high school transcript. Students are responsible for completing the appropriate college forms and meeting college deadlines for withdrawal and resignation. Students should refer to the college calendar, which is published in the college catalog, online, and also in the student planner. There is also a copy of the calendar in the dual enrollment handbook. And again, to withdraw, drop, or resign from a class, a student must receive written, written approval from the high school guidance counselor. If a student resigns from his or her high school and receives a GED, he or she may be liable for all fees and costs for that term. Upon graduating from high school, you are responsible for requesting a final official high school transcript to be sent to the admissions office if you choose to pursue your education at Chipola. Also, if you have not completed your residency declaration form at this time, a residency declaration for tuition purposes must be completed before entrance into the fall term after your high school graduation. At this time I would like to go over the procedures for registering for classes. In order for students to be registered in ENC 1101 Freshman English, he or she must earn the minimum scores on both reading and writing. Also, in order for a student to be registered in college algebra, he must receive the minimum math score on the respective test. Dual enrollment students may not take developmental classes. In order to register for classes at Chipola, a student must first meet with his or her guidance counselor. Student and counselor decide on the classes which the student should take. The guidance counselor will complete the course voucher. Both the student signature and counselor signature is required on the voucher. The student then comes on campus, brings the course voucher, and meets with the dual enrollment academic advisor. The academic advisor will then register the student for classes and print a hard copy of his schedule for the term. As you can see, this is a copy of Chipola College's course voucher. This serves as your tuition payment for the classes you are taking. Once students are registered for classes, he or she will take his printed class schedule back to his school and either have the guidance counselor or a representative from the high school complete a book voucher. Please remember to obtain all signatures required on your district's book voucher. The student will then bring the book voucher to Chipola to the college bookstore and secure his book or books. Please remember that Chipola College Catalog has procedures that must be followed if students desire to file a grade grievance. Please read these procedures carefully. Students have 10 working days from the day the grade is posted to grieve the grade. The initial grievance should be emailed to the instructor. And again, the appeal must follow the ordered steps outlined in Chipola College's catalog that begins on page 63. Staying informed is an important part of being a successful college student. The Chipola College catalog is located on Chipola College's A to Z website. Under Chipola A to Z, please choose C scroll down to catalog and then a digital copy of the catalog is located on our website. 
our academic calendar is also located under the Chipola A to Z tab. Please remember, the college calendar lists all important dates. Your first day of class, registration dates, Chipola College holidays, deadlines, different student activities. The final exam dates are also located in the student planner. Students should become very familiar with their myshipola.edu web portal. When students were accepted to the college, they received an email which listed their Genzabar student ID number and directions for creating their password. This is the myshipola.edu web page. The student's username and password are entered. As you can see on this page, a student may log into Canvas. Also, the student's webmail can be accessed from the myshipola.edu website. Please remember that all communication with Chipola College faculty and staff should be made through your official Chipola College email account, either through myshipola.edu or Office 360 in Canvas. You may communicate with your class instructors through class announcements in Canvas and through Office 365, which is your Chipola email account. In order to log into Canvas, you will need to enter your Chipola College email address and the same password as the one you created for myshipola.edu. Canvas is Chipola College's learning management system. In Canvas, you will find your courses, all announcements about college dates, announcements from your instructor. Of course, your course will have your syllabus, your assignments, due dates, your course calendar, the college calendar. Grades may be viewed through Canvas, and your Chipola email is also accessed on Canvas. Also, Canvas will alert you to upcoming deadlines, upcoming tests and assignments. Also, students, should your parents wish to view grades, they can be viewed in your Canvas portal. Students are encouraged to complete the Canvas student tutorial. As stated before, students can access your Chipola email through Office 365 in the Canvas program. Students who are taking online classes, it is your responsibility to log into the Canvas system the first day of class and complete the academic honor code. Completing the academic honor code establishes your first day of attendance in the online class. Students can use Canvas to inform parents about their grades and assignments. Again, staying connected through email and through Canvas helps students be successful college students. Please remember that your Genzabar number and directions for creating your password are listed in the acceptance email that you received when 
accepted into the dual enrollment program. A copy of this handout, How to Log into Canvas, is also located in the dual enrollment handbook. Should you have any questions or problems logging into Canvas or the MyShipola portal, please contact the help desk at 718-2300. Please note that students may also access Canvas on their phones. Apple and Android devices both have apps for the Canvas Learning Management System. All students are encouraged to find an academic plan that best suits their educational goals. These educational plans are for specified majors and are designed to help the student complete a degree in a timely manner. These academic plans are updated each academic year with the most current information available from the universities. Please click on the tab Chipola A to Z. Under A, click on Academic Plans Curriculum Guides. Listed are the Bachelor of Science degree programs offered at Chipola College. By scrolling down, students can see the academic plans for Chipola, FAMU, Florida State Panama City Campus, the University of Florida, and several other universities. Students wishing to transfer to UWF to earn a bachelor's in psychology would follow this projected plan. Students would be advised to take courses listed on the plan. Please remember to carefully read all the information listed on the academic plans. Chipola also offers academic plans in our workforce development program. For example, Welding Technologies is listed under Certificate Programs. Welding Technology students would follow the prescribed clock hour list of courses. Dual enrollment and early admit students should also be informed about the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act of 1974, which is better known as FERPA. FERPA is a federal law that protects the privacy of a student's education records. Under FERPA, students are given certain rights. Parents may have access to a student's educational records if the student is willing to release the information. Students must complete a consent form in the admissions office each time the information is to be released. Chipola's campus and facilities are open to all dual enrollment and early admit students. The Student Services Building is Building A, houses the admissions office, the testing center, the financial aid office, the business office, and the advising offices, which includes your dual enrollment academic advisor, The ACE Lab is also open to dual enrollment students. Dual enrollment students may gather for study sessions, individual tutoring, and various test preps. Projected here is a copy of our Chipola College campus map. The campus map can also be found on our website in the Chipola College catalog and in the dual enrollment handbook. Students are expected to abide by all posted speed limits. Our goal for all of our students, and especially our dual enrollment and early admit students, is for them to be 
successful in all areas of their college experience. We want to ensure students attain foundational competencies for continued higher education. We want to prepare them to make informed career and education decisions. We want to teach our dual enrollment and early admit students how to appropriately use all resources to help them achieve their own academic goals. And we want to help these students transition from high school to college while teaching them to be self-reliant in navigating the college experience. If you have further questions about Chipola College's dual enrollment and early admissions program, please do not hesitate to contact me and I will answer your questions.